Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of Finance Titan. If you are new to the channel and enjoy everything finance, then don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. And with that, let's get into today's episode. There are now as many as 100,000 people who have $1 million or more stashed in Bitcoin, according to the cryptocurrency data tracking firm BitInfoCharts. That's up from just 25,000 Bitcoin millionaires three months ago. A year ago, there were about 15,000 millionaire Bitcoin accounts. The biggest reason has to do with the highly volatile price of Bitcoin, which has soared recently, in part because Tesla, Elon Musk's car company last month, said it had bought $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. The move suggests that other companies might also decide to move more of their idle cash into Bitcoin. The price of Bitcoin topped $50,000 earlier this month and hit a high of just over $58,000. That price jump is what led to the six-figure Bitcoin club likely reaching seven figures for the first time in the past week, reports BitInfo Charts. Exactly how many people have more than $1 million in Bitcoin is hard to say. How many Bitcoin accounts exist and how much is in each account is public data. Who owns those accounts, though, is not? Multiple accounts could be held by the same person, or one account could be held by more than one person. Nonetheless, there are now 101,554 Bitcoin accounts that have $1 million or more worth of Bitcoin, according to BitInfo charts. Of those, 8,110 accounts have more than $10 million worth of Bitcoin in them. But still, the vast majority of Bitcoin accounts have far less than that. According to BitInfo charts, there are more than 55 million accounts registered on the Bitcoin blockchain, which is the database that keeps track of the cryptocurrency. Of those, roughly 45 million have an account value of less than $100, according to BitInfo charts. The number of Bitcoin millionaires, like the price of Bitcoin, jumps around a lot. As a result, the number of people who hold more than $1 million in Bitcoin wealth could be fleeting. On Tuesday, the price of Bitcoin fell more than $6,500 to just under $47,700. That followed a nearly 10% plunge on Monday from Sunday's record high. Over the weekend, Musk indicated that he thought the price of Bitcoin, which was $6,000 just 11 months ago, was likely to fall despite his company's recent investment. The rules of investing seem simple. Diversify your portfolio and focus on the long term. That's until you see some guy on Reddit get rich overnight betting on cryptocurrency. Eric Finman became a millionaire after investing $1,000 in Bitcoin when he was 12. Glauber Contasoto invested all his savings in Dogecoin on February 5th. And by mid-April, his investment was worth more than a million dollars, he told CNBC Make It. He wasn't alone. When Dogecoin's price surged 400% in a week last month, owners took to Twitter and Reddit to share that they had made thousands of dollars. So you may be seriously regretting not throwing some dollars into one of these cryptocurrencies, but don't be too hard on yourself. Picking the right cryptocurrency and getting rich off of it, that's a lot harder than it looks. And here's why. There are tons of cryptocurrencies. By now, you know the original cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, whose $1 trillion plus market value accounts for about half of all money invested in cryptocurrency. You may also have heard of Ethereum and Litecoin, which have gone more mainstream now that you can buy and sell them as easily as sending your friend a Venmo request for dinner. But there are a ton of other cryptocurrencies, over 9,000 of them that you likely haven't heard of, and more being mined every day. You had to be pretty lucky, or maybe be able to predict the future, to have chosen Dogecoin years ago over, say, Feathercoin. As financial writer John Paul Koning points out, Feathercoin was a much more serious cryptocurrency, created with the intention of mass adoption as opposed to as a joke, that is currently valued at around $12 million, while the meme cryptocurrency Dogecoin is worth $50 billion. The timing has to be just right. Timing when a certain coin will surge is at best very hard and at worst impossible. Investors may be rushing to buy or sell because of events you can't predict, like a tip on Reddit or because Tesla says it's doing so. It's kind of like the dot-com bubble, she adds. The internet came out, investors bought anything that had a dot-com at the end of their name, but with cryptocurrency, it's even more dangerous. Because instead of buying companies with earnings, you're basically buying somebody's idea. There's no way to fundamentally value the currencies. Remember, cryptocurrency doesn't just go up. So not only do you need to know when a cryptocurrency is going to catch fire, but you also need to buy it on its way up. If you had bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin in mid-2017 before its price skyrocketed, you could have made over $8,000 when it reached a peak later that year. But if you bought the same $1,000 worth at the peak and sold a year later, you'd have lost more than $800, almost your entire investment. 
So what about those people who get the timing right? Just because they did it once doesn't mean they can do it again. Those investors who roll the dice and get lucky buying at the bottom and selling at the top, and it's purely luck, could be in even more danger as they move on to other speculative investments. They're going to go into their entire investment philosophy thinking, this is how I can make money. It's that easy. It's not. There's no guaranteed future. Even if you pick the right cryptocurrency, buy at the right time, and plan on getting rich over the long term, that purchase doesn't come with the promise that the coins are going to be around forever. Even Bitcoin, which is considered the most legitimate cryptocurrency, could potentially be banned or at least highly regulated. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said earlier this year that the US government may need to curtail the use of Bitcoin, adding that it's mainly used for illicit financing. Investments like this are just simply running on speculation. Any headlines of regulation will take the wind out of their sail. It will cause significant volatility across the board. So hard as it is to believe right now, investors could also lose interest in cryptocurrency. Think of AOL, which was once hailed as the king of media but has since become something of a relic. And there are plenty of other examples too, from Betamax to mini computers. How to responsibly invest in crypto. If you feel the need to scratch the crypto itch, you can make room for it in your portfolio alongside your stocks and bonds. Bitcoin's performance doesn't appear to be directly correlated to stocks, and it's helpful to have some assets do well while others tank. But as money has previously reported, the correlation rises during bad times, so you need to be careful about overexposing your portfolio to cryptocurrency. Experts say you can allocate up to 5% of your overall wealth to riskier investments, like cryptocurrency. Just make sure you aren't expecting to become a millionaire overnight and that the money you put in is money you can risk losing. And with that, we've reached the end of today's episode, all about how many people got rich from Bitcoin. Do you own Bitcoin? Get involved and let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this one and found it helpful, then leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.